Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam here and in this video we're going to talk about five of the best free VPNs for Mac and Safari. So free VPNs can be unreliable, slow and at worst unsafe. Most don't work on Mac OS either, but to keep you safe I've tested more than 30 VPNs on my MacBook Pro to find five of the best ones to use. So let's jump straight to my first and top recommendation which is ExpressVPN. Now, to be clear, ExpressVPN is a premium VPN, but you can test it out for free as it's backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. That means there is no risk of losing money and you can just get a refund if you're not satisfied. It's my top recommendation because of its fast speeds, high-end security and unlimited data. ExpressVPN has 3,000 servers in 90 countries, so it's easy to establish a reliable connection in any part of the world. You can always find a nearby server to use, even when you're traveling. With its lightning fast speeds, you can stream and browse without buffering and lag. I tested servers in over 20 countries and the connection was always speedy and reliable. I also found that ExpressVPN has no problems of bypassing geo restrictions and VPN blocks. This means that you can watch your favorite shows on Netflix US, Hulu, BBC iPlayer and more, regardless of your location. You can just as easily access your favorite websites even if you're traveling in a country with high censorship. Another thing that I liked about ExpressVPN is that it allows P2P sharing on all of its servers and you can use its split tunneling feature to make sure you're always anonymous during file exchanges. I tested them by sharing large video files with some of my friends. Since its servers are ultra fast, it only took a couple of minutes for them to receive it. ExpressVPN protects your MacBook with a strong AES 256-bit encryption, a kill switch and its strict no-logs policy. On top of that, it has a DNS and IP leak protection so you don't have to worry about your ISP or the authorities watching what you do. You can connect up to five devices to its servers, meaning that all of your devices can be protected at all times with only one account. If you encounter any problems, you can message its support team through the 24-7 live chat. During my test, the process was fast and the agents helped me solve the problem in no time. So, on to my second recommendation and that is CyberGhost. CyberGhost is a top tier VPN that lets you test it free for 24 hours. Like most free trials, there's no need to provide your payment details. Their server network consists of over 7,100 servers across 90 countries, which is really handy for bypassing geoblocks. When I connected to its US and UK servers, I managed to access US Netflix and BBC iPlayer in under a minute every time. Thanks to its super fast speeds, you can stream shows without any lag. I recorded an average download speed of 44.5 megabits per second on its US servers, which was a lot more than the 5 megabits per second needed for HD streaming. Your personal data will also be well protected with its robust security features. CyberGhost uses AES 256-bit encryption, which is impossible to penetrate, while its automatic kill switch will act as its last line of defense on a public Wi-Fi network. Also, you won't leave a digital footprint when surfing the net on Safari as CyberGhost adheres to a strict no-logs policy. This feature protects your privacy by ensuring that you remain totally anonymous online. If you ever encounter any problems with CyberGhost, then you can always contact its 24-7 live chat team for assistance. So my third recommendation, I chose to go with ProtonVPN for its free unlimited data. If all you want is to unblock YouTube, Google or your social media accounts, ProtonVPN is a good choice. However, because it's free, your account will have a few limitations. For one thing, you can't unblock any streaming sites and it doesn't allow torrenting. And you can only connect to servers in the US, Holland and Japan on the free plan. So it can only access geoblocked sites that are available in those countries. Also, ProtonVPN doesn't allow simultaneous connections, so you can only use it on one device at a time on the free plan. If you want to protect your mobile phone or your tablet as well as your Mac, you'll need to upgrade to the premium plan. As with any free VPN, be prepared for slow connection speeds too. During my tests, I found that connection was deliberately throttled, which I found frustrating. It was still fast enough to load websites, but it was too slow to watch HD YouTube videos. ProtonVPN has excellent security features though. 
It uses 256-bit AES encryption and a choice of IKEV2 or L2TP to keep your data safe. There's a strict no-logs policy which means none of your data or online activity is stored or shared anywhere. Proton VPN also includes a built-in ad blocker with its Mac OS app which makes it fast for browsing with no interruptions. If you have any questions or need further support you can get in touch via Proton VPN's ticketing system and they'll respond to you by email usually within 24 hours. So let's move on to my fourth recommendation which is Hotspot Shield. Their easy to use a dedicated Mac app uses the unique Catapult Hydra protocol, which is designed to improve your connection speed and latency. You can stream for about 30 minutes a day with 500 megabytes of data, but the free plan limits you to just one server in the US. Unfortunately, you can't use Hotspot Shield to unblock Netflix US, Amazon Prime Video or HBO Go. Still, it can access a geo-blocked YouTube videos and Kodi add-ons. When I tried to watch Netflix, Hotspot Shield displayed a premium payment wall telling me that I had to upgrade to access streaming services. I was able to browse with minimal lag, but because all of its free users connect to the same server, it's often overloaded so during peak times your connection speed can drop. On the upside, the free version provides the same high level protection as the paid subscription. There is military grade encryption and a built in kill switch and if the server fails the kill switch disconnects your internet temporarily so that your activity stays hidden from your ISP. It's a built in malware protection that blocks suspicious websites to protect you from potential malware infections and phishing scams. This is a great first line of defense but you still need to install a full anti malware program on your MacBook. Hotspot Shield is ad supported. Its privacy policy states that it shares your approximate location and device identifiers with Google to help create targeted ads. It's only your city level location however, because your real IP address is masked, Google can only see the VPN server's IP address. You can only connect one device with the free plan, so you can't protect any other devices when you're using your MacBook. You have access to its extensive FAQ section, but there's no option for live support with the free plan. And for my fifth and last recommendation, it has to be none other than Hide.me with its two gigabyte free data per month. This VPN service gives you access to servers in the US, Canada, Singapore, and the Netherlands on its free plan. Two gigabytes is enough to check your emails and stream in standard definition for two hours, but it isn't enough to torrent or watch a movie marathon. Because you don't need to register to use the free plan, there is no risk of your information falling into the wrong hands. Hide.me also offers excellent security features, including 256-bit AES encryption, a strict no-logs policy, and the all-important kill switch. It uses multiple VPN protocols, including OpenVPN. It's compatible with Tor, so you can access Onion sites without exposing your browsing activity to Tor's exit nodes. There's also IP leak protection. Sometimes device and software malfunctions reveal your actual IP address to websites and apps, but their built-in IP leak protection keeps your IP hidden, even if there's a problem. You can configure Hide.me to connect as soon as you start your Mac, so you don't have to worry if you forget to connect. However, this uses your data very quickly if you don't enable split tunneling. Now, split tunneling is a feature that allows you to route some of your traffic over the VPN and the rest through your local IP address. This preserves your data because only websites that you access through your VPN count towards your usage. Split tunneling also allows you to access local websites and wireless devices on your local network without disconnecting your VPN. Usually only the premium VPNs offer this and it's not something I often see with free VPNs. I was able to unblock Netflix in Canada but not in the US. You can't stream UK based streaming services like BBC iPlayer unless you upgrade to a paid account. There are no ads and you can access their friendly customer support service 24-7 via live chat. So those are my top 5 free VPN options for Mac and Safari. But before I end this video I would like to answer a few questions that I often get about this topic. So for the first question, will these VPNs work with your version of Mac OS? 
Well, all of the VPNs I've mentioned in this list are compatible with the most recent versions of Mac OS. Over time, most VPNs see support for older operating systems, so if you're using a version of Mac OS that's no longer supported, you may be able to use the OpenVPN app to configure a free VPN with your Mac manually. For the second question, will a VPN impact your speed? So it's normal for a connection speed to drop slightly when you connect to a VPN. Your traffic has to travel further and it takes extra time to encrypt your data. With a premium VPN, this loss is not noticeable. However, I can't say the same for free services. Many free VPNs throttle your bandwidth to slow your connection down. Usually this is to encourage you to upgrade to a premium plan. And for the third and final question, how do you know how much data you need? Well, if you just want a VPN for quick, secure browsing, 500 megabytes of data per month may be enough. However, if you want to stream or play online games, you need 10 gigabytes per month or more. You don't need to worry about data caps when you use a premium VPN like ExpressVPN because they offer unlimited data. So thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in any of the premium VPNs I've mentioned in the video, I'll put a special discount link that I was able to get for you guys in the description area below so that you can save some money after your free trial. If you have any other questions at all, leave a comment in the comments section and don't forget to like my video if you found this review helpful and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date on the latest VPNs.